see the bids of the Maw taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Nice that they've got different dialogue between these two every time you come in there. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. The Turians have given us top level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard, it's another to see him in action. Commander? 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 Alliance Network. <clears throat> Alliance News Network Information Partner. Pharaohs. The group of colonists on Pharaohs have mounted a defense against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zoo's Hope said to be survivors of the Savage Geth attack several years ago. has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime com competence more common to seasoned platoons. Colonies are using an improvised weapon as well as supply salvage from a defunct exogeny facility. This colony is our home. Colony spokesperson Elizabeth Bainham said, We've survived worse, and we know how to fight together. Colony is expected to have, to have time for full evacuation before Reaper forces arrive. <clears throat> Still fighting. Mayella. Right. Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time, it's the Le Reaper instead of the Geth. Not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back in on Ilium. The Thorian is dead. Now I can confirm that. But the spore in our bodies, the spores in our bodies remain. And on some level, we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm still, I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my head when I went willingly to the Thorian as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zeus Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. This situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety. But with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos, our force is strong. I have not forgotten about how forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Impressive work from General Cornel Cornel Corinthus Corinthus. Commander Shepard, when you first arrived on Manet, I had a hard time I had a hard time seeing are you flying off with one of your big generals? With one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as now, as I now, sorry, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper, take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've broken a, brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Alvin might be saved after all. 
with greatest respect, General Corinthus, Minette's command. Making babies from Erdnot Rex. Cover. Making babies again will be fun. As soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is the Kelphic Valley is in the Kelphic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. He's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like won't like me sharing power with her. But too bad, I run the show. We're off to save the Turian now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. Your regrettable decision from Delatras Lenron. Commander, I am deeply disappointed by your action on Tachonka. As I thought I made clear, carrying the genophage will have long-term consequences once the Reaper threat has passed. Our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a uh, resurged, resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage and the Salvation Salarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day, not only for my people, but all the galactic civilization. Galatras, Neron, Salarian. Salarian Union. Through orders, is that where she's at? No. Looking for the news lady. We ain't talked to her in a minute. Although, more than likely, she has nothing for us. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Commander. What's next? Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. You didn't tell me that before. Oh. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. 
The ship was a space-faring vessel before ED even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, ED agrees with me. ED's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? ED agrees with me. But unlike ED, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is oh correct. God. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior Edie to... Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Engineer Donnelly means to say is that we're confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we should take every advantage we can get. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Let's go to the Citadel and see if we can't find the thermal pipe. <clears throat> Commander? I like there was something else we needed to go to the Citadel for too. Signal confirmed. Batter Broker Wet Squad? Is everything in this region and Rachne, Rachn, Rennick? Okay. This is another one with the sun, super fracking big.
and we came here just for fuel. We Reapers wasted evaded. more fuel getting here. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Cerberus is on the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere, and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Sorry.
the Bailey. Okay, people, coming in hot. Get to cover. On it. Like that. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in CSEC's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Here we go, CSET network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Ashiel. She's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. This move may provoke retaliation. Well, that's an understatement. If she's inside, she's in trouble. Why would the counselor be meeting with the executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? The Counselor could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Fate, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. 
Scripted emergency message from Commander Bailey to all officers. Service attack in progress. All hands on deck. Cerberus. Didn't even drag him out into the hall. His pants are up. Here, that's where we can look. Oh, that one. We just can't. Nope. Wait, did it switch us anyway? It did. None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. Richfield! Lamont! You alive? You are giving away our position. If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. Personal log, Armado Owen Bailey. Entry one, warn Herc that if he doesn't fill out his reports properly, I'm kicking his ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. Entry two, reschedule meeting with customs analyst about cargo weight discrepancies over the last year. Don't let him wiggle out of it. Of that again, damn it. Event three. Or entry three. Reports of undesirables getting on station ir illegally. Have biometric systems calibrated again. Entry four. Kick Herc's ass, sorry, from one end to the citadel to the other. Oh, yeah. Kick Herc's sorry ass from one end of the citadel to the other. Access denied. 
But there's stuff in there. stop in there. We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn. All right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count her out yet. Found her. She looks unharmed. Get her somewhere safe. Who are you? Nightwing? What does Nightwing do for me? Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. I mean Udina. He's staging a coup. The other counselors are headed for a trap. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. Oh, pain. Dang. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? <clears throat> they needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. 
Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. Why? <clears throat> Cover cars aren't very safe. Putting a sword through the light bars would take some damage. On foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. What? They don't like to hold still, do they? My path. <clears throat> I'm at Shalmar Plaza. Where's the council?
Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up, I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come! I see them. Jump! That was a person. Gunner! Get down! Go! Cerberus took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, Caden. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. Oh. Shepard admitted to working with Cerberus. Crap. For all we know, he's still with them. But I watched Shepard fight Cerberus troops on Mars. Now explain that. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Shepard, look at us. This can't end well. Just put it down. You know in your gut that I'm right. Listen to it. Caden, you're always true to what you believe. I admire that about you. Listen to your gut. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this. <laughs> He's got a gun! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Then it's true. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor. I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Then I owe you, Shepard. For our lives, and for brokering a deal with the Primarch of the Krogan that I never could. 
You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Shepard, do you have any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly, no. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. First time we've seen the elusive man in this game. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Udina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? I don't think we found the diplomat's son yet. All right. Let's go see thing. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. <laughs> okay. So the ambassador was not the diplomat. after learning medicine from a Thame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your if we just We're at this little farm. We killed a few men to find. It's quiet. The shuttle gets called away from the port, so I'm there.
Oh, I didn't think so. It's in the other one. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. That was a little... forward. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Bane. <sighs> that assassin should be embarrassed. <sighs> A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Kolyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Kolyat? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long.